So today's video is going to be how much can I get done? Well, more so like what I get done in a day, not how much because there's a difference. How much I can get done versus how much I actually get done. So we're gonna try something different in today's video and just kind of show you guys everything that I get done. On a, typically, this is what I do on a daily basis, I would say, with five kids and yeah. So like every other video that I have started like this, I always start with laundry. So we have a huge basket of laundry from the, I feel like I just did their laundry and just put away their laundry, but I have a whole basket, laundry basket of clothes that I need to wash. Actually, I need to wash Fletcher's clothes as well. And what else do I need to do today? I know I have to do dishes. There's dishes downstairs. The playroom needs to be cleaned. Try to get to our bathroom today. Maybe we'll see about that. And then whatever else I see that needs to get done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a different kind of video that we normally do on More With Moros, but just wanted to switch it up a little bit. But I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I call it a flood instead of a leak and I don't mean to keep bringing it up the great flood the great, flood, the great leak that's what I have on my Instagram highlight the the leak of 2021 there's a story behind this okay so we got this fan right here Oop. got this fan when we had the leak to help air out the carpet actually I think this was before we called our home insurance and we were like hey let's see if we can try to fix this ourselves like, yeah, this isn't that bad that's not that bad let's see if we can air it. We, we all know how that went down but we ended up keeping it because it started to get really, really hot. If you guys live in South Carolina or actually anywhere in the South where it's hot and humid and sticky and it's already 90 degrees outside, it gets really, really hot and our AC is constantly running, especially at night when everything is hot from the day and trying to cool down the house and sometimes sleeping can be super uncomfortable. So we kept the fan. Actually, Frank started using the fan because he started to get so really, hot. really hot. I have to turn that fan on now almost every night for at least the first few hours and the ceiling fan is on. We have our ceiling the fan on. We have our AC on 69 every single night. And mind you, we have kids kids too and so we're always worried yeah that we're gonna freeze them out except for nolan nolan he gets really hot at night too so i was like okay what kind of solution can we come up with to keep us cool at night where we're also not freezing out everybody as well or freezing out me because i get sometimes a little too cold and then at night. come over and she'll be like trying to nestle and yeah cuddle like, I'm, and I'm cold. i, I had my heating blanket out went, okay anyways so we needed a solution is what i'm trying to say and we found one we found one so let me show you guys, because this is really exciting. I've never heard of anything like this before. I'm excited to try it. And maybe this will replace Frank's fan. <laughs> yeah, please, that thing is noisy. Actually, that fan's gonna come in handy because we can now use it in the garage when we're working out. But let me introduce you guys to Aki Home. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you, Aki Home, for sponsoring today's video. I, like I said, have never heard of anything like this, but they have a whole line of products called in cool so we got two of their chill pillows their cooling memory foam pillows two fitted mattress pads actually like i said earlier nolan gets really hot at night too so i got him some of the in cool products as well so he's got a new mattress pad to go on his bed to keep him cool and then we also got the in cool super pillowcases for our pillows and also the sheets as well for the kids i decided to get these really cute pillows show that one frank that one's a seal so we've got a seal an octopus, octopus. oh there's his face <laughs> and then so a star cute. you guys know in different rooms in the house some are cooler some are hotter so in case they do get cool they can have a little friend to cuddle up with they have mattress pads like i said pillowcases a flat sheet pillows but they also have chair pads cushions pet beds and even throw blankets so also what's really great about these pillows is like this is like the very chilled side or the it's chilled side cool to the touch it's and then crazy. if you turn it over you have like the standard pillow oh if you get too cold you can just like flip it over and you'll have like a regular pillow or you can have the chilled side which it's is so awesome. crazy how it it really is cool to the touch like even the pillows are cool. very cool to the touch as well so i think it's really cool that this in cool collection is designed for you to have a more comfortable and deep sleep 
even on those really hot and uncomfortable nights, especially like we've had lately where it's been no rain and it's been almost 90 degrees every single day. So it's an actual cooling foam layer that keeps your pillow extra chill. And I was just looking at the sheets as well. So they are antibacterial and odor blocking front fabric and humidity controlling and deodorizing. So these are gonna be perfect to put on our beds during the summer in the hot seasons, which is honestly a majority of the year where we live. So I wanted to introduce you guys to Aki Homes in Cool Collection because I, Again, I've never seen anything like that before, and I think a lot of people go through the same thing of being really hot, sweaty, uncomfortable at night, it's hard to sleep, so if you guys are interested in checking out Aki Home and their in cool products, they also have tons of other products as well. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out, and we're gonna go ahead and actually wash everything before putting it on our bed, and we'll definitely update you guys on how we feel after using, or I guess sleeping in with the pillow and the sheets and everything, and how everything feels, and if it actually does make a difference or not I mean I can even just tell just even by touching the pillow of how much it makes a difference and how cool it is it's crazy so um, and they have all different kind of sizes as well so if you guys want to get some for your kids or check out their pillows and pet beds again I'll leave that link down below for you guys okay, so it has been a couple nights since putting the in cool sheets and pillow on our bed so I at least wanted to wait a couple nights before be like hey we bought these new products and then not tell you how we like them we have the sheet on the bed where did it go oh here it is sheet on the bed and then also the pillows as well so I will say me and Frank both notice a difference in our sleep when using the blanket and the pillows last night and the night before because we noticed that we were a lot cooler sometimes we'll wake up if it's like been a, like a humid day or that night is more hot than usual I'll wake up in like hot sweats or cold sweats I'll wake up sweating, that's what I'm trying to say, because I'm so hot, which can be uncomfortable because then you get really cold. But I found that the past couple of nights, I have not done that. I have been cooler, Frank's been cooler, we've been getting better sleep. He hasn't had to turn on his fan either to keep him cool. So I at least wanted to let you guys know that and give you our full review on everything. So again, I will leave all of that links down below. You guys know, I got you. Everything will be done here for you guys to check out. All right guys, so little heads up, I am doing this voiceover in the morning, so I apologize if I sound a little groggy or even a little tired, but like I was saying in my intro to this video, this is everything I do on a daily basis. Of course, Frank helps out a lot, but this is primarily an everyday thing, so usually there's two or three uh, things of, I almost said laundry. <laughs> That's pretty accurate too. Two or three things of dishes to do pretty much on a daily basis because we have like the after breakfast rush as I like to call it. And then we have the second rush that is typically after the kids get home from school. So like after lunch and everything and they have all of their school stuff. And then of course after dinner as well. So um, we have to run our dishwasher once or twice a day. I always joke that we need like two sets of everything. We need two sets of a washer and dryer. We need two sets of a trash can. We need two sets of a dishwasher. We need two sets of everything at this point. I get nervous thinking about what the kids are gonna be like when they're teenagers because I know teenagers can have a bigger appetite, bigger appetite than it. I didn't know you could have a bigger appetite than a toddler because toddlers have a pretty big appetites. But I'm a little, nervous and anxious to see what it's going to be like when they're older <laughs> all right guys so we're going to be super realistic in this video let's see is this turning on i am still trying to figure out how to work this narwhal let's see press it again start moving okay there we go but like i was saying we're going to be really realistic in this video i'm going to show you guys normally what i clean up but also the unexpected cleanups as well like scarlet Carly just got into these muffins and put the sprinkles all over the couch. This is my face right now. That could quite possibly be my fault. I didn't give her the bag, but this is why we this is we try to have a rule about no snacks on the couch no snacks on the couch but it obviously it does not go very well so i'm gonna vacuum this up now So 
so our robot vacuum is currently mopping all the floor. I don't know what I would do without that thing because that thing helps me so much with vacuuming and mopping and really does so much of the job for me. Frank is currently fixing the girl's door upstairs. Most of the day is tackling, especially after breakfast, is tackling the downstairs. I'm gonna clean up some toys, kind of pick up the living room a little bit, vacuum, cheese it crumbs and donut crumbs now everywhere. Um, I just took out, I did the dishes, took out the trash. I still need to wipe off the counters. Um, I'm getting to the playroom. I want to clean that up a little bit. Oh, and I need to wash that rug, the entry rug right there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take that off now because there's no point in it going over it. So I'm just going to wash it. Ooh. This is why I love ruggable rugs. So I can just take them off and wash them. Only downside to a robot vacuum, they're great for a lot of things and doing the job for you, but sometimes things get caught up in their wheels. Like they're good at avoiding like toys that are like harder and solid, but these, the fabric stuff, no, they, it gets caught in the wheels and everything. So I guess you gotta be mindful of that and probably should pick up those things before turning on your vacuum. Um, but if I didn't have that vacuum, I do not know what I would do because I honestly feel like I am vacuuming all of the time. Like I have that to help me vacuum and mop, but I'm still having to vacuum on top, on top of that. So um, I had to, of course, vacuum the rug and the couch. I know I said previously that we've been trying to keep the kids from eating snacks on the couch. It's just so convenient because if they're having like their iPad time, they can just sit there, but we're trying to be more consistent with eating in the kitchen at the island so we don't have what happened earlier with i think i said there were muffins i meant to say donuts <laughs> there were donuts and crumbs were everywhere and i didn't get to show this because i was in the middle of cleaning the playroom oh decided to wash luna's bed because it was really dirty but she also took the bag and then dumped them all in the playroom too and i'm like why did i not take why did i not take that away um, but now working on the playroom and you know typically i try to have the kids help me do this but they just start throwing things everywhere in random bins. So I have to like intervene and put everything back where it was and try to keep it organized. I don't know why I do this to myself. Like Brittany, why don't you just decide to be sane and just let them, you know, clean it up however they want to. Like, why do you have to be like this? But I think you guys know me by now. I'm very particular, I'm very meticulous and I try to be as organized as I can. And I, I know I talked about this so many times, but I strongly believe, at least for me, everybody's different, that everything has its place and you won't lose something or, you know, you won't have to be conflicted about where something goes because everything will already have its own place. I don't know. For me, I have to be like that um, to be sane. But then also I could be like, you know what, Brittany, you could save your sanity and just let the kids do it. So I don't know. That's something I'm always conflicted with, but I just realized by putting the camera on the vacuum, I was like trying to give you guys a cool view of what our house looks like as we're like, you know, cleaning up and doing our thing. But then I realized this just made me super dizzy, especially when we get to the fireplace and it was going in between the fireplace and the rug. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> So typically I try to do two to three loads of laundry today. I know that sounds crazy, but if you think about it, if I do like Aria's clothes and then Nolan's clothes in one day and then the girls clothes in one day and maybe like towels needs to be washed or then Fletcher's, you know, clothes need to be washed or, you know, a rug, some rugs need to be washed or again, towels need to be washed because now we're going to the pool. It's just always constant. I think that's one thing I also didn't think about. Uh, with having so many kids is like all of the laundry all of the laundry and then you got me and Frank's clothes on top of that as well And then like the random things that I need to wash like a dog bed that I have to wash separately It's a lot. It's definitely a lot And if you guys have m multiple kids, then you know how much laundry it is and I do this So I don't get behind because if I get behind that's even more stressful so I try to keep up with the laundry as much as I can and You know, I just think maybe one day I will miss all of this. I will, when all the kids are grown up, I'll miss all of this craziness and, or maybe I won't, maybe I'll be like, yes, no more kids, no more laundry. But, um, I don't know. I, that's what I think about. I think about missing all of this and, you know, this time, this period of your life actually goes by so fast. If you compare it to the rest of your life, you know, your kids are only 18 years old before they are an adult, obviously 
Captain Obvious over here, but you know what I mean? Like if you think of your whole life, we're getting really deep right now. If you think about your whole entire life, you know, your kids grow up so, so fast. And when we're like empty nesters, I'll think back at all this craziness, just running around with my head cut off and just being so busy all the time, like I am now, <laughs> just always cleaning and, I don't know, maybe I'll miss it, maybe I won't, but that's kind of the stuff I think about. Let me know if you guys ever think about that too. But you know, even though it does get very hectic and stressful, I love this kind of stuff. It brings me happiness. It brings me happiness to clean and be organized. Here we are doing more laundry. <laughs> it's the girl's laundry. Um, you know, it truly does and it keeps me busy. It keeps me active. It keeps, like when I'm organized like this and constantly going, I feel super, productive but just had to refill a couple of things like the toilet paper and all of the bathrooms now i did say that i will do the laundry but putting it up is a different story so after we got done folding all of these clothes i did not put them up i was like nope that this is enough for me for one day so i just put everything in the laundry basket and whenever i hang it up is whenever i will hang it up and the other things are pretty simple to wash like the ruggable rug i can just wash that let that air dry um luna's bed washed it put it in the dryer i also did wash the kids masks at what as well so um that was everything that i washed for today but this was actually after dinner i didn't get to film anything during dinner but i had to clean up all of the stove and clean all of that up and i showed you guys that stainless steel cleaner that i've been using and loving i'll link it down below for you guys but this is actually towards the end of the video but i wanted to film this video for you guys because i wanted to show you everything that we typically get done in a day or what a typical day is like when it comes to cleaning and cleaning up after the kids and just like daily household stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so 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 much for watching and we will see you in our next video Bye, guys.